right now we will be doing this uh, pack tracer first turning okay yes so pack tracer configure a basic WLAN on WLC Did I do this? Wait. I have a video course. It's 13. Wait. Patch users. Configure. Let's see. Security. Oh, yeah. So to test the. So we did that on our bridging course. Configure a dub, uh, basic double LAN on the uh, wireless LAN controller. So we have the adjacent table. So they have the R1. Okay. So it is interfaces. The switch, the light access point, the WLC server, admin PC, and wireless host. So we don't have the, the guide here. So objectives in this lab you will explore some of the features of wireless LAN controller. So we'll create a new double LAN on the controller and implement security on that LAN. We will create a new double LAN. Okay. Then you will configure a wireless host to connect to the new double LAN through the these access points. Access point that is under the control of the WLC. Finally, you will verify connectivity. Okay, so first is connect to the wireless LAN through controller uh, GUI to explain some of the information that is available on the WLC monitor screen. Okay, configure a uh, double LAN on the wireless LAN controller, implement security on the wireless LAN, wireless LAN, and configure a wireless host to connect to the wireless LAN. Okay, background scenario. So an organization is centralizing control on their wireless LAN by replacing their standalone access points with lightweight access points okay and a wireless LAN controller so we're using the light uh, uh, the WLC to configure the light access points so we'll be leading this project and you want to become familiar with the WLC and any potential challenges that may occur during the project we will uh, configure a wireless LAN controller by adding a new wireless network so we have the wireless host and securing it with WPA2 PSK security so to test the configuration, you will connect a laptop to the WLAN and ping devices on the network. Okay, so instructions. So part 1, monitor the WLC. Okay, so wait until STP has converged on the network. STP. Okay. So you can click the path tracer fast forward time to speed up the process. Continue when all link lights are green. So we now have the link lights green. So go to the desktop of admin PC and open a browser. Enter the management IP address of the WLC from the addressing table into the address bar. You must specify the HTTPS for all. Okay. From the admin PC, need the web browser. Okay, you need to access the wireless LAN. So I'm going to do that 168.200.254. Oops. I'm going to do that 168.200.254. Do add the HTTPS here. Okay. Now access the wireless LAN controller. Okay. So click login and enter these credentials. So admin for the username and password Cisco. So admin. Then Cisco. One two three. Okay. We now on the GUI of our wireless LAN controller. So no task does not support the initial dashboard that has demonstrated in the module. Now. So scroll through the monitor screen. What can be learned from the screen is the WLC connected to that to an AP. 
let's see. Access points. I think we are connected to an access point. Okay. We have up here. So what can we do from the screen? Uh, controller summary. So key management IP address. Okay. lens We don't have the wireless lens yet. It's the access point. Let's see the detail. We have the lab one connected to the WLC. Oops. Let's go. Okay. Quick detail. Okay. The detail. Create a wireless LAN. Now we will create a new wireless LAN on the WLC. We will configure the settings that are required for hosts to join the wireless LAN. Step 1 is create and enable WLAN. Click WLAN on the WLC. Okay. And then, locate the drop down box in the upper right. So we have here. It will say create new and click go. To create the WLC the WLAN. So enter the profile name of the new WLAN. It's a profile name. Floor 2 employees. And assign an SSID file to the WLAN. Host will need to use this SSID to join the network. With an ID of what? Okay. Follow this for the IP. Use to identify the double line is other displays. Okay, we also need to. Okay, this one is one two. For this. Says ID five. Then you need to select the five the VLAN ID four five. Okay. So click apply so that the settings go into effect. Okay. So note that the VLAN has to be created. You can configure features on the network. Okay, wait. Click enable. There is enable. Features of the network. Click enable to make the WLAN. Ah, okay. Review the enabled. It's common status. Accidentally skip this step. Okay. This is for the management. Okay. Okay. So choose the VLAN interface that will be used for the WLAN. The wireless LAN control will use this interface for user traffic on the network. Click the drop down below. Box for interface, select the WM. Okay. There is an interface created. So I think it's pre configured. Okay, this interface was previ previously configured on the WC. Okay. So, but in real life, we need to create an interface. So, click to the advanced tab. Where is it? Okay, we have here the advanced. So, close down to flex connect portion to page. the advance we need the flex connect enable then click apply to enable the new double line if you forget to do this the double line will not apply. so what is for the flex connect let's see the internet flex connect solution for branch office at this this is 2013. Let's connect. Still. Okay. It's just for a solution for uh, remote access. Okay. So just leave it. Then I okay, apply. Now is step two security WLAN. I think we're using the security. So the new WLAN currently has no security in place. This WLAN will initially use WPA2 PSK security. 
So in another activity. So in another activity, you will configure the AWM to use WPA2 enterprise. Okay, so we're just in the basic WLAN on the wireless LAN controller. Okay. So a much better solution for larger wireless wireless networks. So in the WLANs edit screen. So under the layer two tab, select WPA2. Direct to security. Okay, security tab. Double PA plus double PA two. Okay. So this will reveal the double PA parameters. It's the other. Okay. This for uh, what? Static web. Supported. So why is the JavaScript alert? Wow. What? Okay. So WPA, WPA2. So please the checkbox next to WPA2 policy. Okay, we're using the WPA2. Okay. This will be additional security settings under authentication key management enable PSK okay, we have the PSK here so we're using the AES encryption okay we can use the but if we use the okay, enable PSK now you can enter the pressure key that will be used by host to join the WLAN this is go one to three as the passphrase. Okay, so this is go one to three. Supply. It's not a good use to practice the use the passwords with figure security. We have reused passwords in this. Just need to click apply. Okay, it's okay. Oh, got the question of 55%. So verify the settings. I think we're done. So after applying the configuration, click back. This will take you back to the WLAN screen. Where is the back button? Okay. So what information about the new WLAN is available on the screen? So if you click the, okay. So we have the type. So it's a wireless local air network. Profile name, WLAN SSIB. So this is the name that the clients will will see so if they enable the wi-fi so status enabled so we have the security policies we have the wpa2 security and enabled with the psk or pressure key okay if you click the wlan id will be taken to the wlan's edit screen so use this to verify and change details of the settings so if you click here so if we uh, need to edit something we can go back to here. Okay. Next is connect a host to the WLAN. So step one is connect the network and verify connectivity. So if I go to the desktop of wireless host. Let's see. We're now on the wireless host is wireless host and PC wireless. Okay. So click connect tab. So if the delay, you should see the SSID for the WLAN. So we have the SSID 5, click connect. So enter the pressure key that you configured for the WLAN and click connect. We have Cisco 1, 2, 3. Connect. We have successfully connected to the access point and we have a 100% completion. Okay, next is click the link information tab. You will see link information tab. Where is it? Ah, okay. You should see a message that confirms that you have successfully connected to the access point. You should also see wireless wave in the topology showing the connection to lab one, LAP1. Okay. See, we have the signal there. Next is click 
the more information button to see the details about the connection. Let's see. More information. Okay. Okay, we have the radio band. This is IP5, wireless mode, infrastructure. So we're connected to access point. This channel, we have the cha channel 1, security, WP2 personal. Authentication is auto. The IP address. I think this IP address of the access point. Let's see access point. So, I think. Let's see. What is the? Oh, okay. This is our uh, IP address. So close the PC wireless app and open the IP configuration app. So, none a PIPA IP address over the GP. Okay, we got the DHCP IP address from wireless host ping the WLAN default gateway and the server to verify that the laptop has full connectivity. Okay, just kind of ping default gateway. So, we have Another VLAN, so VLAN, wow. So, router one is P, and seven two dot thirty one dot one dot one. Let me reply. Speed with the server. So, one seven two dot thirty one dot one. Oops. Ping one seven two dot thirty one dot one dot two five four. Server management. The management VLAN. VLAN two hundred. Six ping nine. Ping. Dot one six eight dot two hundred dot one. You can ping that. One eight two dot one six eight. Oh, I think because it's on the uh, other bill. Okay. So let's see. One eight two dot one six eight dot five dot one. Oops. Get a reply from the interface of the router. Let's see another one. Also have okay. and results. So very few items, but that's it.